In today's video, I got a kind of a fun play for you today out of the week close in the West Coast playbook. Now, week close, I think, is one of the most underrated formations in Madden 21. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And basically what I do here on YouTube is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you are interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe video. We post videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time sharing new tips, new insights um, that you can use to be able to be a better player at this game. Okay, guys, so those of you that have been a part of the text membership you know that i've been running a lot of west coast lately and one of my favorite formations to go to in critical situations from a running perspective is actually this weak close as you see here they have the fullback dive they have a halfback gut uh, two very good running plays they have some decent passing plays in my opinion um, little quick things that you can hit and we're going to go over one of those today now this is specifically for man coverage it can beat zone coverage as well i do want you to be aware that you can beat zone coverage with this but i really like this <clears throat> i really like this route against like one step ahead corners and i'm getting a lot of questions saying that basically what people are doing is they're going to come out they're going to run man coverage they're going to blitz the crib at you and you've got to adjust and you've got to make something happen this play is really really good against one step ahead corners um so basically what you're going to do here it's called pa post shot and you see you have this unique little route to uh chris godwin okay so you can do a couple of different things what i like to do on this play is i typically like to create kind of a little bit of a screen pass here so i'm going to put the fullback on a wheel route and the running back on a swing swing pattern and then with the tight end, um, you can do a little bit of whatever you want, but I like to put him on a post route. Um, and if you if you don't um, if you don't want to put the, the the little makeshift screen here, then just block the running back and put OJ Howard on a little flat route, little swing route to the right. Okay. And all you're gonna do is at the snap of the ball, you're gonna motion um, Godwin to the right side of the screen. And basically what we're going to do is you're going to see this is going to create a really, really nice little man beater, especially if they don't have any safety help over top. So he's going to do this little double move, and then he's going to get over the top of the defense, as you can see right there. And, of course, um, I might not need to, I might not want to put that post right to the tight end. You can put the tight end on anything. You don't have to put him on a post. You can put him on a curl. Um, honestly, if I'm getting a lot of, like, max pressure, I'll put him on a delay fade and run a six-man protection. Um, I like having Howard always on a swing route to pull any of the zones out of the way. And honestly, I really like having him on a wheel route. So I think it works a little bit better if you do something like this. But what you'll see is against man coverage right here when he cuts inside, that's where he's going to beat a lot of one step ahead corners. So you have that quick read. Um, if they are running man to man on you, then you can easily hit them with this. Now, I like to smart route this route. Um, if you're in that situation, you know, you're in first and 10, something like that, you can smart route this route. It's just going to make his cut go. He's going to cut in faster. If you want him to cut in later, then just leave him on his default route, okay? But this is a man-to-man -man killer because you still have that deep cross, and most of the time they're going to go defend that deep cross with their user. They're not going to defend that route to Chris Godwin, okay? And when you smart route that route to Chris Godwin, you're going to get a lot more separation, in my opinion, than when you don't. So, again, we're just running a simple six-man protection, motioning him over and right there is where we're going to throw it. Now, what do you do if they press coverage, right? A lot of guys like to press coverage. So what I like to do in this situation is if they run a press coverage defense, um, this is going to make this play work a little bit better because especially if they try to actually press you, um, which this one I think I have shaded over top. But what you'll see here is, you know, basically off of the jam, um, you're going to see that this thing is going to just torch it over the top of the defense. Um, and of course, with that fullback, I actually, I, I don't know why he was on a wheel there. He should have been on a swing route. Um, but well, she, if, if they don't have like a safety over top, like if they're not playing like cover two man or something, then you should oftentimes get a, a one play touchdown. As long as you get time in the pocket here, this little double move, there it is right there. That's what we're looking at. That big dot against manual coverage. That's exactly what we're looking for. So that little quick play right there. Um, and again, you know, because you're running such a good protection, you've got a seven-man protection on basically, 
you know, and it's basically just a shot play. The beauty of this route is you could throw it at multiple windows, so you can throw it early or late. So again, let's say that they press you, and maybe they're using it, right? So that, oh, they use that route. Well, now I look over the top of the field, and as you can see now, this shot play, this little deep cross, what I love about this deep cross is it gets over 20. I have my, my curl flat zone drops set to 20 yards, and this deep cross gets over those uh, zone drops. We'll show you what I'm talking about. There was a simple cover one defense, and you saw how deep, see how deep he gets? And he is still going to get that separation against man-to-man -man coverage. That's what I like about it, is that route still is going to get really nice separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So you have your quick reads over here, but basically you'll see he's going to get over the top. So I just lob it over the top, click on, and I have a good chance uh, a good chance of hitting it on the sideline. Now, if they, you know, if if they're obviously if they're in the vicinity, you don't want to throw it. But what I just want you to see is that you can hit this route to to Mike Evans um, if you want to late over the top. So I might need a little bit more time in the pocket for that. But again, my first read is always the flat to the post, then to the crossing route, and and of course I get to throw out a sack as soon as I'm throwing it. But as you'll see, once he once he hits his last little cut, the crossing route, um, that's where you'll be able to hit this route over the top. So again, a lot of people are going to run these purples. Now what they're going to assume is what I would assume if I was running this defense, basically that once that route, once that crossing route hits the um, like hits the sideline, their their defender is going to be able to pick it up. That's what they're going to think, right? But the reality is no. So you're reading your reads. They're going to go to that other guy. But look at that right here. Pass lead this up right in that last cut, and you see that's an absolute laser. That's a twenty. Of, that's a twenty-five yard, twenty-yard curl flat. So that's one of the beauties of this offense is it gets over the zone drop. So like let's say that they're running, let's say that they're running some type of Mabel, you know, cover three, uh, kind of America's defense at this point, but where they're basically running. Um, Mabel coverage. Let me get that set up for you. So they're running Mabel coverage on both sides. Well, the beauty of this play is you can still hit this route to Godwin in zone. So when he does that little post, like that little double move to the inside, you can throw that like a post route. So like well, that's my always always my read. If they're not using Chris Godwin, I'm gonna throw that right there every single time. I'm gonna throw that right there against the zone coverage. If they're not using him, that's where I'm gonna go. Most of the time they won't. Most of the time they're going to use her Mike Evans because they're not going to be expect. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to be expecting um, Chris Godwin to really uh, make a big fuss for them, really. They're really going to be expecting, you know, that crossing route to be the big thing that they have to go manually guard themselves. So, again, they've got Mabel coverage. Now, let's say they just ran like a hard flat on the side, but they didn't, you know, in my opinion, probably better coverage for them you know, if they didn't do that. So if you get something like that, once again, the swing route is going to pull all of the flat zones out of the middle of the field. So you're going to be able to hit that post route to Godwin. Um, and then if, let's say they user that, so then, okay, well, they've used that route. So now if I go back into my read, you see this is a uh, cover three invert, and I got a pretty good chance of hitting that route over the top of that cover three invert. The deep halves, most people will deep half to the, um, the, the back side of the cover three. So something like this right here, this is a very common coverage. Um, this is a very, very, very common coverage for somebody to run, right? And then, and then basically, maybe they take this guy. You know, for the sake of the video, we're just going to put him here and give them uh, give them a Mabel coverage. You know, basically because it would probably be flipped. Um, you know, in a real game, but this is kind of the look that you would get. And again, this is Mabel coverage. These are the they're they're backing the purples off. They're kind of doing everything they know how to do. Uh, to stop this and you're going to see that this deep deep crossing route um, pass lead it up into the outside click on and as long as they don't have Jair Alexander it's going to be wide open especially if you run this with a little bit I'm in the middle of the hash here if I'm on the left hash you'll see it's even more effective because I'm going to the wide side of the field so let me show you what I'm talking about right here and of course like cover two like this play kills cover two like absolutely kills cover two and we'll show you that in just a second but I just want you to see um, I just want you to see like how good of a job this does. Um, again, if they, and again, you can leave this hook curl right here. It doesn't really matter. Um, you're still going to be effective. So again, if they don't go user Godwin, then I can throw him. If they do go user Godwin, then Mike Evans is going to be wide open. So watch him over. Do they use him? Okay. They go over there. So now look right here. 
hard right pass like click on and you're over the top of zone drops that's what's beautiful about this play now if you want to get my full far tight slot scheme that goes directly with this scheme um, all you gotta do is text me for it my number is 812-216-3644 that'll allow you to join our text message membership and our text message membership we release every single week a full scheme breakdown so the far tight slot is two hours long of material on how to actually run it as a full scheme we've released schemes on the gun bunch the gun u trips from new england the ace slot offset the split close the big nickel over g defense so if you're looking to get some of those schemes you get all of those schemes once you text me uh, again my number is 812-216-3644 now let's talk about cover two real quickly so um, cover two something that you will see uh, especially a lot of people like to run cover two against these little light compressed sets because they think it does a really really good job I'm here to tell you it doesn't at least against this so if they run cover two, you'll see that this crossing route, and of course I didn't, I don't, I don't know how a three-man uh, rush gets in against a seven-man protection, but in practice mode it totally does. So we're we're not even going to deal with that rush to be honest with you. But th let's just say they run like some kind of cover two, you know, deep. You know, they're trying to trying to basically prevent themselves from getting beat deep, right? Um, they might run a cover two, and what you'll notice with Mike Evans is because his crossing route is so deep. This thing is going to kill cover two. Brady made one of the worst throws in his career there, uh, getting him the ball. But again, you'll have the same stuff on the backside that you would have already had. So, and and what you wanted, you you know what you if you want to send more people out, like if you wanted to, you could put your tight end on a streak, right? There's no reason you couldn't do that. I'm just saying. You know, if you wanted to have a little bit more protection, because if you put him on a streak, this window becomes like super open. That that window to Mike Evans, because the streak's going to pull everything with him, and then your your window to throw Mike Evans comes wide open. So, you know, honestly, it probably smartest to run a six man protection, something like this right here with this play. But again, you know, I, I just think I think you're going to find a lot of success with running that match protect and almost running this like a shot play. What you'll notice here with this is that post route's not quite as open if they have a yellow zone in that vicinity. So what you have to do is basically just wait a little bit. And if you wait a little bit, you're going to see um, that this route right here, motion over, he's going to come in, and then he's going to go out. When he goes out, that's where he becomes dangerous against cover two. Now, this does take a little bit of time to develop. So typically, in if they run like a cover two, just a stock cover two, you're going to want to hit your crossing route, right? But if they if they don't, you know, if you if you have time in the pocket, maybe they're doing some adjustments, maybe they're backing some people off, maybe your six man protection actually works like it's supposed to. Um, but but basically, your smart running guy and bringing them across. And what you'll notice here is there's going to be a window right behind the cloud, right there, hard left pass lead, click on secure catch right on that, and you're going to get over the cover two defense. Um, really quickly, I want to address uh, one other coverage that you might see. And that is uh, cover three with this right here to the left side of the field. And then this side of the field is going to be Mabel coverage. So we'll show you that real quick. Something like this right here. You'll probably see this from time to time. And their user is probably going to use her kind of right in that area. So you got your tight end streak. Now, don't forget about your tight end streak. You can peek that really quickly. Like if that's open, you can just kind of peek up the seam and hit it if it's there. If it's not there, then you can go to your other reads. But as you can see, if you run if they run any kind of that, that coverage, that deep crossing route is going to kill it. So you really, you know, you really have a really nice little play. And the beauty of this is to run your runs from this formation. When you motion this guy over, it makes the blocking so much better for your running plays. So it really does go kind of hand in hand with one another as a full scheme. You're able to run things like the fullback power. You're able to run things like the halfback gut. And those two running plays are like the perfect counters to some of the things that we're doing out of the far tight slot. So if you haven't checked out the far tight slot, go ahead, shoot me a text message. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock. Make sure to bring your questions. We'll be answering Madden questions live on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks, guys. Have a happy new year.